The collision happened just before 4 a.m. So from 4 to 7 o'clock this morning, freight trains and the front runner trains were both stopped because the car was stuck, smashed on the tracks. Now, police say this car was purposefully driven on the tracks and residents nearby say the crash gave them quite a scare. I heard the crash. The train had was dragging something like the brakes came on and then you could almost feel those trains derail. I mean, you know, it's just, just that thunder, you know. These Roy residents heard and felt the early morning crash that happened just yards away from their homes. I knew something had happened. Just before 4 a.m., a northbound Union Pacific train plowed through a car that was parked straddling the train tracks. Pushed it another 100 yards down the down the tra train line. Police were called to the scene. They say no one was hurt, but that the car had been abandoned on the tracks. You get on the tracks a couple of ways. One, you do it intentionally, or two, you do it because you're drunk out of your mind and you end up on the tracks. Using the VIN number from the wreckage, police found the person responsible. It was 41-year-old Ronald DeGroote, who lives just blocks away. We were able to apprehend uh, Mr. DeGroote as he was trying to get back to his home. His act was intentional. He drove the car on the tracks on purpose. Police say DeGroote had been fighting with his wife and drinking some when he stormed out of the house in her car. I won't speak to his in intent, but I will indicate that he changed his mind. And so in that process, he couldn't get the car off of the tracks. So he abandoned it there. DeGroote has been booked into Weber County Jail on charges of criminal mischief. Now, police say these charges are second degree felony charges. They also say that we are very fortunate no one was hurt. For 2 News, I'm Emily Flores.